making it to the shelves of a European supermarket is just a dream for most African farmers. But Fruits of the Nile is a company which has shown it can be done by producing dried tropical fruit. Nora Kagimu is one of the star producers. This is my farm. We have about 500 trees here on two and a half acres and we grow three different varieties of banana. Nora Kagimu began drying bananas in 1994, but when her husband died, she needed a guaranteed income to support five children. With Fruits of the Nile's help, she scaled up her business. Today, she's employing five people and buys in bananas from local farmers to meet demand. I had some fears that this kind of business would only last for a very short time. I didn't think it was that serious. But I'm amazed because all the time the business is expanding. Nora's farm is in Mbarara in southwest Uganda. Here, banana farmers are at the mercy of large price fluctuations. In the high season, there's oversupply, prices nosedive, and often the crop goes to waste. When the market's not there, some use their bananas for compost and others just feed them to their animals. Fruits of the Nile has developed a source-to-sale drying process and provides a year-round market, so there's no waste in times of surplus. The key is to have the value-added processing happen at the farm rather than at a central factory. The dryers are an appropriate technology, easily built and maintained to keep insects out while letting the sun's energy do the work. No chemicals are used, weeding is done by hand and all waste is composted. In about two days, the bananas are dry. It's OK. They are ready now. Primary producers have to meet stringent international hygiene standards. Hands and utensils are washed, hair and clothing covered, and once packed, dried bananas are kept safe from any contamination. At first it was a bit difficult, but now this work is very easy for us. We liked the way we wash and the way we dress for work. We liked the work and now it's become very easy for us to do it. <laughs> the bananas are delivered to Fruits of the Nile's headquarters near Kampala. Nora makes the 10-hour journey once a month. At the factory, they are handed over for sorting. Now when the product comes into here, we need to inspect it thoroughly. Where it cannot be compromised and uh, the export market requires strict quality measures like what we go through here. It is a burden but we have no choice because it is one of the requirements of the export market. There are three products, sweet bananas, chewy bananas and dry pineapple, sourced from 120 producers who buy from 840 registered farmers. The fruit is packaged and sent by sea to the UK. Meanwhile, Nora gets paid. It's good money. Dried bananas are worth 10 times more than fresh. Producers can make over 50% profit. Nora's put money into her house and built an extension. But most importantly, she sent all five of her children to school. Next year, three will attend university. Mbarara has been hit hard by AIDS and many families have to take in extra children from relatives who have died. These carers have joined forces to become a Fruits of the Nile producer group. They donate the fresh fruit and share the processing and the profits. Biingi Lovance cares for her six orphaned grandchildren. I can get books for the children and clothing and pay their school fees. I think their future is bright. If they keep going to school, they will get an education and then they will be able to make something of themselves in the world. It will help them succeed. All of the producers want to sell more fruit, but so far there's a limited market. Angelo thinks that the secret of expanding the market lies in going organic. We have high hopes of getting certified organic and uh, we have gone through the first round of inspection. It will mean an increase on the number of outlets and it would mean a sustainable market for our products. 
we shall be sure that the product will keep selling forever and ever. Fruits of the Nile has got this far thanks to training along the supply chain, from documentation to bookkeeping, and now to learning organic techniques. Good business skills have been introduced all the way from the farm to the head office, and everyone gets a fair share of the profits.